Um, I don't know, I just want to see a little more. Ugh. Well, Arrow certainly has a share of grit. Yeah, Arrow does. But you want to see it expand over the course of the Yeah, game. yeah, and, and you know, I get it. I get it. I mean, Arrow is what it is. Arrow's a little more grounded, as grounded as you can be with a superhero that fights crime with a bow and arrow. Right. <laughs> um, but it's, you know, still a little more greedy than the street, um, which I've always liked about it. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing a little more grit in the, in the crossover. Well, I know, I, I know even now we have the most recent news, which I know you've tweeted about and posted about too, Black Lightning just got picked up. Black Lightning, yes. Yes, I'm happy to hear about Black Lightning. Woo! Um, I, I think we've been told that at least for the first season, which is what we're hoping, it's not going to exist in the same universe. Yeah, but, but we were told that about Supergirl too, and that... Yeah, we were also told many, many years ago that you would never hear about two specific cities in our universe. Which you have yeah. now, so I mean things change, right? Um, I don't, I don't know what the benefit will be. You know, I, those guys is way above my pay grade. They're much smarter than I am. But, um, I, I'm wondering why not part of the universe right off? You know, because it just, I, I think part of the strength is having these shows that we all know each other. We can all cross over. Yeah. There was, there was, I don't remember what episode it was, but there was a moment where Oliver called some. Lieutenant, you guys will probably tell me what episode it was because I don't remember. Some lieutenant or captain in the in the at some precinct, and he was like, "Listen, I am who I say I am. Believe me." And he was like, "How do I know it's really you?" And he like pressed the button and Flash came and said, "He's legit." You know what I mean? I do remember that. So funny, so good, <laughs> and it's just like those types of moments are so funny and good to me. So. Hopefully Black Lightning can be part of it. Yeah, I mean, it's, I think it's going to be a shortened season. I think it'll yeah. be a mid-season show from what I understand. I, I, I can understand setting, using the first season to kind of separate itself and let it establish itself. Yeah. But I, I would hope that at least season two, uh, we've seen so far anything can happen with the multiverse. That's so right. throw it on another Earth and let it come over. Anything can happen is where Diggle can't have a doppelganger. Who is this Diggle's doppelganger? <laughs> first of all, was Diggle hatched? Does he have parents? I mean, these are the things I wonder about. Like, <laughs> brother, like you've seen parents from everything except Diggle. It's like, how did Diggle come to be? I don't know. I know, I am him. Um, maybe he wasn't. I don't know, you know something? We, I, I pitched along with James Banford, who uh, is a wonderful director on our show, the stunt player. And uh, we'll be doing more work on the show next year. We, we, just, we, we pitched Carl Weathers for Diggle. That would be an awesome. Wouldn't that be great? That'd be great. Don't know if it'll work. I mean, work. mean, Carl's doing what he's doing now. He has a huge resurgence in his career. Um, but it'd be nice to get Carl Weathers. Yeah. Uh, who would you? Apollo Creed as Diggle's father. <laughs> <laughs> who, would you, who would you cast as your mother if you could do that? Um, I don't know. Linda Carter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in love with him. Um, you gotta give a totally prank right now. I know. For Manu Bennett really being back on the show. Is that stroke? Yeah. Yeah, because you can't really touch the island in the way we do without there being some real presence of Manu. And Manu, you know, for, for me personally, our second season was our strongest. And um, that had a lot to do with Manu. And um, and I just think he's just brilliant as Destro. And so and he does an incredible job. He does an incredible job. I mean, he comes he just jumps right back into it. Even the trailer, when you see the trailer and you know he's in he's behind the, the bars, it's just like chills, just like, you know, big kid. And it's like, oh yeah, he's back. He's back. He's back. Yeah. So it's, it's it was great to have him back. And um, and that was in no small part, you know. Thanks to Steven for really making it happen. Yeah, you mentioned the trailer to the finale. I think I've watched the trailer to the finale probably at least five times. Because yeah. like you said, I, I get chills. And I think the finale, you, I agree with you that season two was one of the strongest, but this fifth season... Yeah, I think five is right up there. It's, it's yeah. been one of the yeah. best seasons we've seen this far, too. Because it's coming around full circle to that whole five-year journey that yeah. we've been seeing. Yeah, it's, I'm really curious. If this, you know, that's, I think that was a, that's another... I think the flashbacks took up seven or eight minutes of uh, story time in terms of, um, of storytelling on the show. So I'm curious to see what they're going to fill that with next year. 
You know, because the flashbacks are over. I mean, were you guys really attached to the flashbacks? Did you like them? Yeah. It's a mixed crowd. Yeah, I, I've heard mixed about about the flashbacks too. And so most people are probably glad to see it leave. Yeah, yeah. So we'll we'll see where they go with the story. I wouldn't mind seeing flashbacks of the past of some of the other characters because there's still there's still more about Renee that we need to learn. Right, right. And I think Renee has been one of my favorite characters. You know, yeah. he's come so far on this. But I would I would love to see flashbacks of some other characters before this five-year journey. I, you mentioned bringing in Carl Weathers as your father. Yeah. Having some Diggle flashbacks would be great. Yes, yeah, glad to see, be happy to see that. I'll be happy to see, you know, just, I really want, and we, we touched on a little bit, but it, I don't know, I, I, think, I think that the whole Diggle, uh, Lila, she's the new Amanda Waller suicide squad, I, I just think that's just untapped, you know what I mean? And the fact that Argus, you know, we have access to that, somewhat. Um, and she's such a, a, a kind of a, an integral or immediate part of, 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 the, uh, of the core because she's Diggle's wife. I just think that that's something we should really explore in terms of, when you talk about backstory, just in terms of what's happening with that whole suicide squad thing. I couldn't, I couldn't pick him out of a crowd. So I show up to work in the morning and I'm getting a coffee and this guy with this big jersey comes out of one of the work trucks. And he goes, hey. And I was like, hi. Goes, you need anything from me? And I thought he was like, do you need anything in your trailer? Do you need some water? Do you need, are you okay? And I was like, no, no, I'm good. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, something, who is that guy? I don't, like, who is that? He's just kind of like shuffling around set in his, you know, his jersey. And then it dawned on me, I'm like, oh, that's Kevin. <laughs> So I was like, no, I'm good. So then I walked over to him and I, I didn't tell him, I didn't know who he was, but we, I had a conversation with him, but he's just so casual and so easygoing and kind of one of the, one of the team that he, um, yeah, I didn't know who he was, but he was lovely to work with and such a team player and that cast, they loved him on that show. They love him and he's gone back, as you know, a few times. Yeah, yeah, no, he's come back. I, I wouldn't see like a... Uh... I think it'd be interesting to do like an M. Night Shyamalan mm. episode of The Flash. Yeah. It'd be completely off the wall and weird. <laughs> but hey, it's one of those, he's done television before, so we can see, see him coming to the fold. Sometimes you gotta get weird. Stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Hershey Park's right up the road. Yeah. yeah. How about you? I've drank some IPA before, but. Oh, there uh... we go. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Was that me? Yeah, I was. Yeah. You're electric. <laughs> <laughs> you're just an electric. You're just, that or you're a walking technical difficulty. <laughs> Either way. All right. Well, there's plenty of IPAs that are right here in Pennsylvania, too. So I'm sure you've had some of them if you drink IPAs. Sure. All right. <laughs> Let's uh, go with that. I want to start off, before we get into the whole Marvel Universe and, and your other projects, I had the opportunity to listen to you both back behind the curtain before we came out. Sorry about that. That's all right. You guys both have some incredible stories. I know one of them in particular is the jacket that you're wearing. <laughs> if you don't want to talk about it, we don't have to. No, talk that's about it. fine. But I thought it was a great cause. So I, I you know, you're very kind for saying that's an interesting story when Max was just talking about throwing the first pitch at a game and like, oh, also Brett has a jacket. <laughs> We're gonna get to that. Cool. Next. Well, um, thanks. Yeah. Max is making fun of me for this jacket, which is painted. I said, what, you couldn't wash it before you got it? Yeah, yeah. And I was like, uh, no, bro. Actually, um, this is hand-painted by uh, a girl named Sasha. And it's part of this Sasha project. And um, all of the proceeds go to the Children's Hospital of L.A. So I made Max feel a little yeah, bad. I started, I started, I started um, after making fun of me. I was like, oh, yeah, that's really sad. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, why don't you talk about your... Your first pitch, then. I don't know if I can follow that. I don't know if I can follow that up. But I'll try. So I threw out the first pitch at the Giants versus the Dodgers game. It was awesome, and I threw a perfect strike, and you can see it on YouTube. This is ridiculous. 